Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 97, I think. Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, I'm doing a No Catch Your Name episode today. I'm counting it as my Vlogmas just because I'm going to be home all day today and nothing cool is going to happen. <laughs> so, uh, Vlogmas would be super boring today. But I got some finished objects to share with you. Two of them I actually forgot to take pictures of or clips. Maybe I have a clip from one of the Vlogmases. I'll pop it up on the screen which Vlogmas I did show it in. I will look it up and stick it on there for you guys. Uh, it's just disc cloths that I made for my Secret Santa swap partner. And uh, I already, they're already in the mail. <laughs> and uh, I didn't think to take pictures of them. I mean, I did, but then I forgot. But anyways, I got uh, three finished objects right now that I'm going to show, show you. And I got one whip that I'm working on. And I got some mail that I'm going to share with you guys. And then that's going to be it today because... Uh, I've been working a lot, you know, the, with Thanksgiving and then um, our trip and all that. Well, I just didn't have a lot of time to crochet much, so uh, I haven't been crocheting much. <laughs> but it's picking up now. I got I'm making something for my sister, and then there's a few other things that I want to get started. So uh, hopefully there'll be more cool stuff <laughs> in the next episode. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and just share um, all my makes with you. First, uh, I made the amigurumi that Karen from Happiness is Homemade. She wrote the pattern and then she gifted it to me. And it's called Gild the Gnome, and I made one, um, one month ago, not like this, couple, like two days ago, I think, maybe. But here he is. <laughs> He's just a little gnome. I'm not too happy with his beard. <laughs> but, um, I made him with Red Heart Super Saver, black, spring green, and cherry red. And then his skin color is, I love this year, and light peach. And then his beard and his hair <laughs> is made with, um, Bernat Pipsqueak white. And I only made it with pips, Pipsqueak because I didn't have any fun fur that was beard color other than black. And I didn't want to give him a black beard. Uh, I wanted a white or like a gray white. But uh, this is all I had. So this is what I worked with. <laughs> I tried to cut it, you know, beard shaped. <laughs> kind of hard to do with Pipsqueak because when you cut it, it like sheds a whole lot. But he was a cute pattern. I overstuffed his hat a little. I put way too much stuff in it. And then I did tack the point down just because I didn't want it to straight up. <laughs> I wanted it to be kind of floppy a little. And since I put too much stuff in it, I had to actually pin it down. But that's okay. He's just cute. I'm probably going to stick him on my tree somewhere now that I've showed him to you guys. But it's a wonderful little pattern and it's super fast. It took me two days to make this only because I stopped. But if I had to just sat down and did it, it would have been... It's one of those projects you can make in like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. <laughs> uh, just watch TV. It's got a little bit of stuff in it, his body and his, he his hat. I didn't stuff his arms or his legs. The only thing that's in the bottom of his feet is the ends from the black and green. I just stuffed them kind of down in there. But uh, I think he's cute. And he's got his little um, bubble stitch nose. There. And he's super cute. I like him a lot. But uh, Karen does have it in her Etsy shop. And I'll link, it'll be linked below. So you can go purchase it if you want to. It's super cute. And easily customizable. You can change the hair, skin, and clothes colors. You know, to anything you want. And she's also in the pattern. She's got a way to make it a girl one. So you can make a boy one or a girl one. But he's cute. My next finished object is dish dishcloths. I got two of them, and I didn't really use a pattern for them. Uh, I know the name of one of the stitches I used, and the other one I don't actually know its name. I probably should have looked it up, but I wasn't thinking about it. But this first one, and it's made with yarn that was gifted to me by Becky at Funny Farm Crochet. And it's just cotton yarn. But uh, it's in, like, Christmas variegated colors. And this one is made with the cobble stitch. Um, stitch? <laughs> cobblestone stitch? There you go. And uh, you can't see it too well, but it's kind of almost like a bobble stitch and what it is is you um, there's a single crochet and then the next stitch you treble crochet and then the stitch after that you single crochet and the two single crochets pull the treble down and make it poof out like a like kind of like a puff stitch and it's just kind of an easier way to make puffy like stitches I really like it the texture is really nice and uh, I can't wait to use it now that I've showed it to you guys I can wash it and start using it, it turned out pretty big and then I just did a single crochet border around it I learned how to do the cobblestone stitch from I think it was bag of day crochet, but um, I mean it's just a stitch, so uh, you don't really have to. <laughs> After you learn to stitch, you can make your dishcloth, you know, however, whatever size you want it to be. And then the other dishcloth that I made, this one's a lot smaller. I'm not sure what this stitch is called. I just remembered, remembered it, and it is um, the first row. You know, you do your chain, and then you go back and single crochet all of them. And then I, uh, the next row I single crochet 
the for the next stitch <laughs> chained one and skipped a stitch and then single crochet the next stitch chain one skip single all the way down and then the next row when I chained and turned I single crocheted in the single crochets and then in the chain under the chain spaces where the skip stitch is I double crocheted into that and it just makes it kind of make these spike stitches and it just looks cool it looks better in real life it's like it's easier to see than all it is on the camera but uh, I like it I can't wait to use it I love using homemade uh, dishcloths and uh, some of the ones I have had a couple gifted to me I think it was in 2017 they were knitted ones and they're starting to fall apart now I've used them so much and I have a few that I crocheted and one another one that someone else crocheted for me that um, I'm using and I just wanted to make a couple more to you know reboost up my stash of dishcloths but then I did also have the other two dishcloths that I made I made a red one just like the cobblestone one in the variegated but it was just solid red and then I made another one that was something I can't remember the stitches <laughs> it's been a while I, if, like I said if I can remember I'll pop it up on the screen somewhere which vlogmas I show them in and if you're interested to go check them out you can easily do that all right so that's all my finished objects and now I only have one whip and just living in my Pikachu bag <laughs> that I made and it is let me take it out they're Christmas lights I made these before two years ago I guess it was two years ago it was in 2017 I made me, I'm looking up there because it's hanging up there, a really long strand of them. I did the repeat, uh, the color repeat four times for mine so they would fit over her space. And then I also made a two repeat one for my sister. And that's why I'm making these ones. She actually wants uh, some more to hang in her house. And they're the Christmas lights. It's a free pattern by Jean Herman. And it's uh, Christmas lights. So I got two blue ones. And two green ones right now made. I need to make two of each color. So I need to make two yellow ones, two orange ones, two red ones. And then the cords. Uh, the toppers for the bulbs. The little attached thingies and then the cord. Uh, which will be dark green. I did make a yellow one. But it turned out way bigger. <laughs> just because this yellow yarn is a little bit bigger than the blue yarn. It's all Red Heart Super Saver. It's just, you know, some of them are fatter than the other ones. And this is bright yellow and it turned out bigger. So I'm going to frog this and then I've got another red heart uh, yellow that's not bright yellow it's it's not pale yellow either it's like in between the two <laughs> I'm gonna try making it in that and then if it still turns out big I'll just have to use one of these yarns and um, like a smaller hook and uh, try to make it a little bit more similar to the same size because it's obviously bigger right now so if they were hanging beside each other it would be obvious that this is significantly bigger <laughs> Than the blue and the green ones. But, um, so I've got what, two, four, six more lots to make, and then all of the little attach it thingies, and then I just gotta chain them all together, which will be easy. So I'll, I'm hoping to get this done, um, within the next day or two, and I will have to, I'll probably have to take a clip of this being done, and then, uh, for the next No Kitchen episode, because it'll be at her house before I record that. But this is a super fast, easy pattern. I've made a ton of them, like I said. How many is hanging there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I got 20 hanging there, and then my sister has 10 at her house. So that's 30 that I made. Plus, I did make some more last year, and I ended up frogging them just because I was going to make a bunch of lights to like, try to sell, and then I just changed my mind. So um, I've got to make the rest of these and get them all done, and then I will show you guys probably in whatever vlogmas that I complete them on. And then I'll also take a clip for the next No Catch Name episode. But that's my only active whip right now. I did want to mention another whip that I was working on. The Snowman and Um, The deadline for that was the Friday that we left for our trip, our weekend trip. And um, so I didn't get to finish it for the, the cow, which is fine. But then I, I just set him on my table over here with um, Santa and my elf. And I kind of liked the way he looks without his vest on. He's just like a snowman with a hat. So I think I may not finish him his pattern I think I'll just leave it without the the vest and the cane because I think he looks cute with just his hat on he just looks like a snowman you know and um I've never made a snowman with a vest on so I guess I'll just leave him the way he is so he I guess he's technically a finished object now so that's all my uh whips and foes and I do got a little bit of mail that I'm going to show you guys I've been getting a bunch of Christmas cards and if you watch um the vlogmases you would have seen a bunch of them that I got and then today I got I think four more Right, so I'm going to show them to you. This first one is from Diane in New Jersey. And it says Mary. This is, uh, what's it called? Buffalo plaid? I think. Really pretty. Thank you, uh, Diane. 
And then this next one is from Robin in Minnesota. Okay, I have to show you real fast. Let me make sure it's not showing anything. Her address label has a reindeer on it. <laughs> That's so cute. And then she's got the Christmas stamp. And it looks like everybody got the same stamps this year. <laughs> they didn't really have, at my post office, they didn't have a lot to choose from Christmas-wise. I wanted the Christmas cookie ones again, but they were sold out. I don't know who goes and buys all those, but someone does every year. I really like the Christmas cookie ones. It's got um, Deck the Halls lyrics written on them. I had them two years ago, I think. And then every, the last two years, I had to get Santa because everybody got the cute ones. But this is the card that Robin sent, <laughs> which is Santa. He's carrying a wreath. He looks really happy. But he's Santa. He's supposed to be happy. And there's a nice house in the background. Thank you, Robin. And she also added a note in there that I really enjoyed reading. Devin actually read it to me out loud while I was driving. And uh, I, I think, thank you for including that because it's cool to a little, learn a little bit more about you. And then the next one is from Monica in Idaho. She put a really, let me hide her address too. She put a really cute um, Santa sticker. And I'm actually really surprised that that survived the mail because lately my mail has been getting kind of mistreated but um your sticker completely survived like he's he's still got his little pom-pom on his hat and everything idaho yeah let's make sure i said that and this is this is funny and it's it says just a little off the top because it's a tree and he's getting trimmed <laughs> that's so funny i've never seen that card before that's cool and then the last card that i got was from wendy in connecticut she sent me a Santa one. He's in his sleigh holding the lantern. I've noticed that's a popular theme with Santa cards is they're always holding lanterns. But he's got a wreath and he's got all the presents back there. So thank you, Wendy, for sending me your card. So now it's four more cards. Did I say four? <laughs> that I gotta hang up on my wall. <laughs> my wall's getting covered and I love it. I love just looking at them and I, I go through there. When I walk by it, a lot of times I stop and reread them. And then the next thing I got, I got a card from Anna yesterday from Adventures with Anna. And if you watch Vlogmas, I showed it in there. Uh, she also shared in her uh, card that she sent me a little box. She wasn't lying. It is a little. Let me make sure there's no addresses. This is the box that she sent. <laughs> and what's funny is I have a P.O. box. And, uh, you know, the hole in the back of the P.O. box is bigger than the hole that, like, I opened to get my mail out of. And so they put this in my mailbox because it fits through their side. But I couldn't get it out my side. <laughs> There was just, you know, like the mailbox has like a little lip over the side of it and it was just barely too big. So I had to go into the actual post office and ask them if they could get my mail out because this was in the front and all my letters and my cards and bills and all that was behind it. So they had to go rescue my little box. I thought it was funny because it's such a small box you'd think it would have fit. But in the box is peanuts, <laughs> which I'm going to save those. But she sent me an ornament that she made. And I remember seeing when she was making some of these, or talking about making some of them. I'm trying to get it to lay it right way. And what it is, it's one of those clear bubbles. Oh shoot, it's super glary. <laughs> you can't see it very good. But inside of it is a little ball of yarn. And a little knitted piece made with toothpicks. <laughs> she knitted, she started knitting a little, I don't know, scarf. <laughs> with toothpicks. And then on the end of the toothpicks is beads to make it look like knitting, knitting needles. And it's so pretty. I love the color of yarn too that she put in there. But that is so cute. So I gotta put a label on this so I can always remember that I got it from Anna. And um, hang it up on the tree. I don't think the yarn ball is supposed to be hanging like that. But I actually like it. It got caught on the little metal thing that is on the top, on the bottom of this thing. You know, that holds it in there. But I like it that it's hanging there because you can see it good. <laughs> it ended up turning out really good that it was hanging there. But it's so cute. I'm so glad that I got one of these because I seen where she was talking about making them. And I remember seeing her video where she was talking about the little knitting needles. And it's just so cute. And Devin thought it was really cool too. So that's cool. But I'm going to label that and then I'm going to get it hung up somewhere on my tree near the top. So Jesse won't mess with it. It's plastic, but uh, he'll still tear it apart if he gets the chance. But that's all the mail that I got today. And thank you everybody for sending me Christmas cards. It really is making me super happy. <laughs> and I know, um, you know, it's just fun to get a card. I don't, I don't know what it is about getting mail. It's just a lot of fun. I've always loved getting mail. I always love sending mail. I sent a package out today, actually, to someone. And um, I hope she likes what I sent her. <laughs> and I'm supposed to get some more packages coming up. I should be getting a knit crate soon. Next week sometime, maybe. And um, 
I got a message from someone who said they were sending me some fabric and uh, I'm should be getting a Secret Santa swap soon from my partner, whoever it is. <laughs> and uh, I'm just looking forward to all of it. It's just a lot of fun. The last thing I want to share with you, I got my laptop right here. I'm trying to get to wake up. Is some really cool. I'm a, I'm a member of the Facebook group for Repeat Crafter Me. And uh, if you're not a member of that group, I highly suggest you joining it. Because there's thousands of people on there. So there's all kinds of awesome projects and ideas floating around. And I found a few that I, um, I took screenshots of and I want to pop them up on the screen so that you guys can see them too. I just thought they were really neat ideas. I did blur out the people's pictures and their last name because, um, you know, I didn't have, you know, I didn't want to share their stuff in case I didn't want the whole world, you know, like, like if they made something as a gift. And by chance that person watches this video, I didn't want to ruin it. So I just showed their first name and then the, pro the, the thing that they made. Just in case, you know, I don't want to, like, ruin anything. So the first one that I found that I thought was super cool and I want to share with you guys was from Lillian. And it was in the Repeat Crafter Me group. And I'm looking at my laptop. <laughs> but she made these as teacher gifts. And what she did is she made, she took the books that she was going to gift them. And then she made, she crocheted the character from the book so that it could be like a set, you know. So, like, maybe the teacher could hold it up while they were reading it or even maybe pass it around and let everybody, like, mess around with it a little bit. And I thought that was such a cool idea. Jesse's not in school yet, but I, I want to remember this. I saved this picture on my computer <laughs> so that I could try to remember it. And that would also be a great gift. Like, if you have a niece or a nephew or whatever, or your kids, <laughs> you could, you know, like, get a, um, you know, like, these books. Or you could get a book that's a bad puppy and you could crochet a puppy that looks like it. Or you could get a Dr. Zeus book and crochet something out of that, you know, like green eggs and ham. I've seen green egg and ham crochet pattern and that would just be such a cute gift because they would get the toy plus the book and it would be you know they can play with the toy while their parents reading the book or you know whatever and I just think that's such a cool idea so she made the apple the crown and the pencil from these books and you know you can almost crochet anything so you could really um take any book to give to anyone and uh crochet a toy too you could even do that for older people too like you know if you want to give someone a harry potter book and you can make a little harry potter amigurumi or um, Hedwig or something, you know, and send along with them or for any really, you know, anything <laughs> really and I just think that's really neat or, you know, if you wanted to go, you know, more mature uh, uh, adult, <laughs> not like 18 plus, but you know, like your aunt or something <laughs> if she loves like the Outlander TV show, you could buy her either like a DVD of it or the book of it and crochet her a cowl or some, a fingerless mitt, something that's kind of similar off the TV show that would be really cool uh, gift or uh, again back with the Harry Potter theme if they like Harry Potter you could buy them a book or the DVD and then crochet them whatever house that they love a hat and scarf set or something you know Gryffindor or Slytherin themed that's just really cool uh, gift that is where you can buy them something but also give them something handmade so it, it would just I just think that's cool kind of like gift baskets but with fiber the next thing that I found from repeat crafter me group that I thought was really cool is from someone named Laura and again, she has a kid in her picture, so I blurred out the kid's face while I colored it out with paint. <laughs> but um, she made a Timothy the T-Rex. That is ginormous. She, I think she said it's over four feet tall. And it's, it's a giant Timothy the T-Rex. I thought that was hilarious because there's so many. Amber makes them and Kim makes them. And I've seen a bunch of other people making Timothy the T-Rexes. And she made a giant one. She, uh, in the comments section, which I didn't take a picture of, but in the comments she was talking about how much yarn it was. And she used over 30 pounds of stuffing. That's a lot of stuffing and that's a lot of money. That's like $70 worth of stuffing <laughs> if you buy it from Joann's. Because um, their 10 pound ones are like $20, 20 something dollars. So that's crazy to me, but that's so cool. Like, um, I imagine her daughter is going to have that for forever. <laughs> and um, always, you know, love it because our mom made it for her. I think that's everything I wanted to share today. This video did go a little bit longer than I thought it was going to go because I didn't have much to show. But I really wanted to share with you the repeat crafter me things because they're really good at gift ideas. At least the the books with the little amigurumis. I think that's such a cool idea and I'm going to try to remember to do that for like Jesse and maybe my nephew and all that when um when I'm thinking of gift ideas I can get them books or movies and uh match characters or you could even do it with video games like if you buy someone a Mario video game or Zelda or something you could make a little amigurumi to go with it I just think that's cool because most most people who like books and um video games and movies are in fandoms so they love any kind of paraphernalia that is related to that fandom so I just think that's cool I want to share that <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get this edited and up today because this is gonna be my vlogmas for today also <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video which will probably be a vlogmas what is tomorrow tomorrow Saturday I don't know it may not be anything interesting <laughs> I'm gonna try to at least get a little clip up every day um 
if not a whole entire vlog. But yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to put all this stuff up and I'm going to work on my sister's Christmas lights so that I can finish them and show them to you guys. Uh, all the links are in the description box that I talked about. And I will try to remember to link the Repeat Crafter Me group because you definitely need to join that if you're on Facebook. Because there's all kinds of good ideas just all day long popping up on there. And uh, there's so many people in that group that it's, it's actually useful. And it is a private group, so if you make someone a gift that's on your Facebook and you post it in their Repeat Crafter Me group, just like on my No Catch Name group, no one can see it unless they're in the group. That way, you know, gifts aren't spoiled. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I think that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I done said that. Bye, guys. <laughs>